We recommitted to tackling together emerging security threats within the region, particularly those of terrorism, border security, and maritime piracy. I express Ghana's appreciation for Italy's assistance in the fight against piracy. We have also decided to promote together democracy in West Africa and reiterated firmly our mutual rejection of unconstitutional changes of government. Towards strengthening of intra-Africa trade, Ghana called on Italy to lend her support to the African Continental Free Trade Area, whose secretariat is located here in Accra. The AFCFTA intends to link 54 markets covering 1.3 billion people with a combined GDP of 3.5 trillion United States dollars. By 2050, it will cover an estimated 2.5 billion people and have a quarter of the world's working age population. The investment and business opportunities offered to Italian and European private sectors by the infrastructure required to link these markets more effectively are enormous. The Ghana will continue to collaborate with Italy to find solutions to contemporary challenges such as the eradication of widespread poverty, elimination of irregular migration, insecurity, and human rights violations, terrorism and violent extremism, human and drug trafficking, piracy, as well as climate change and its attendant negative impact on the environment and livelihoods. As we look to the future, Ghana remains committed to deepening her partnership with Italy and building a more prosperous and sustainable world together. I'm convinced that this visit will further strengthen the bonds and friendship and cooperation between our two nations and peoples. And war is the wrong solution. We want to reiterate how important it is to have a dialogue and cooperation among all. That requires strengthening the United Nations, and I wish to thank the President for mentioning the reforms which the Security Council needs to have to become more effective and to make sure that the UN functions more effectively. Mentioning international cooperation is important because humanity faces a number of common challenges, including climate change, as President Akufo Addo mentioned. Those challenges require international cooperation, and it is impossible in a context marked by clashes. I am very glad that in recent years the cooperation between Ghana and Italy has intensified. Our intention is to continue building on that cooperation. Our trade has grown very much over the past year, and we want to make sure that we build a complex and deep form of cooperation in a number of different sectors.